All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I just wanted to uh, basically just talk to you guys and air out some uh, inner thoughts and things like that. So vlog. <laughs> so I'm here in my car, just kind of chilling by the lake, uh, doing a lot of thinking and stuff. And I uh, just want to kind of air it out for you guys because I've been going through a lot lately and uh, just been doing a lot of thinking as far as what the future holds for the old Andy Son here. As you guys know, I'm currently looking for an apartment up in Kalamazoo, Michigan before I start school in uh, January. The hunt's been going pretty good. I went up there this past weekend with my mom. We looked at a couple apartments and I submitted an application to one that I thought was uh, really good. So, um, haven't heard back from them yet, but like I said, we just went up there this weekend, so give it a little time. <laughs> You know, in addition to that, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, so I'm gonna be visiting, you know, my family up north for Thanksgiving as well. So that's gonna be fun, seeing family up there again. I don't know, lately I've also been feeling a lot of uh, social media burnout and YouTube burnout as well. So that's one of the reasons I haven't really been posting videos that much, in addition to doing personal life stuff like finding an apartment, things like that. In light of all the tragedies and stuff that's been go going on in the world lately, um, Facebook's just been, you know, bombarded with a bunch of, you know, political posts and things like that. And, you know, I've been part of that too. I'm not going to say I'm innocent. I'm certainly not innocent in the whole thing, but, uh, it's just been kind of wearing me down. So I've been, you know, kind of angry on Facebook as of late. And I actually had to, uh, defriend a couple people because, um, it just got to be a bit too much. You know, it is what it is. Nothing personal, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Yeah, I've just been feeling really burnt out by the whole thing. And plus, you know, being in Salina, there's really not a whole lot to do. All of my friends are pretty much gone from here now. They've, you know, moved out of here and moved to uh, bigger cities and stuff like that. And they're busy with their nine to five jobs and their new lives, you know, with wives and some with kids and stuff. And it's just been, you know, I've been back for like two months now and, you know, none of them have really made any kind of effort to be like, you know, hey Andy, you know, I want to come over this weekend or you busy this weekend or something like that. Cause I'm always trying trying to uh to call them and see if they want to hang out but it's like ah oh, no i'm busy this weekend or oh, you know i'm gonna do something with the kid this weekend or you know whatever the case is and you know i'm not blaming them for having a life i mean it's their life so it is what it is but i don't know just a sign of the times you know getting older and stuff and it's just been kind of weird you know ever since i came back here to salina you know two months ago like i said because you know the town is pretty much the same really you know, it's not too much different from when I left it. Maybe, you know, so a couple new businesses cropped up, you know, they might have changed a couple things here and there, but it's essentially the same town. But the thing is, you know, my friends aren't here. And a lot of the people that I knew when I was living here and growing up here, you know, they're gone. You know, either they, you know, passed away or they've moved or whatever. And it's, it's so strange, man. Like, uh, I remember going up with, uh, with my folks to Taco Bell uh, a couple weeks back. And, like, I would always know everybody, or at least one person that was working in any of the, uh, the restaurants in Salina. And so, you know, I used to know some people that were working at Taco Bell. And if not them, then maybe like their little brother or sister or something like that. You know, I'd come and be like, hey, how's it going? You're so-and-so's little brother, you know, how's so-and-so doing? And just kind of be like, hey, I know you guys, you know. But uh, now it's just like, I don't fucking know anybody, <laughs> you know, they're all gone. And it's just really weird, you know, because this is my hometown. The town is essentially the same as it was when I left, but like, None of the people that I knew, you know, as far as that I consider my friends and stuff are around anymore. And I mean, I don't blame them. The town's essentially a dead zone. You know, there's not a whole lot of growth going on here. I mean, that's why I got out. But still, it's just a sign of the times, really, and just a just a sign that, you know, I, I need to move on, otherwise I'll get stuck here. So I don't want that happen to me again. So that's why I'm going back to school. <laughs> well, one of the reasons. I've also been 
uh, stressing about uh, finding a job and stuff like that up in Kalamazoo because I guess things are different in my life now, man. It's like, you know, before if I were to move to a new town, I would probably, you know, look for something in fast food just to kind of get myself started, get my foot in the door, get a little bit of cash, find a new place or place to work or whatever, and uh, just kind of go from there. But, uh, you know, that's kind of socially acceptable when you're in your 20s, when you're a 20 something. But like, I'm gonna be 30 in a couple weeks, you know, December 7th, by the way, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> it's okay when you're in, when you're a 20 something, but once you're a 30 something, I mean, unless you own the place or maybe like next in line to own the place, um, it's just fucking sad, you know, in my opinion work in fast food i mean if times are tough and it's the only job available hey do what you gotta do and it might be silly of me if after i make this video i end up getting a uh, fast food job when that just be the shits <laughs> but you know i'm trying i'm trying to avoid that i mean if i have to i have to but i'm just trying to avoid getting trapped in that environment again because i've worked in fast food and i've worked in retail you know before i joined the navy and it's just, you know, thoughtless work, you know, thoughtless, thankless work. Friggin' anybody can step in and do it, you know, you're just an automaton. And that's one of the reasons why I gravitated towards YouTube, because, you know, yeah, anybody can pick up a camera or pick up a cell phone like I'm doing now and, and talk to it for a couple minutes, but, you know, you tend to put, like, your own spin on things and uh, your own style into making videos and just things like that. And we all come from different places in life. So we all have different backgrounds and different stories to tell. So it's a much more personal experience on YouTube versus, you know, a regular nine to five job where, you know, anybody, they get a little bit of training, they can do your job. Yeah, man, like I just, I'm looking for a, uh, like some kind of part-time gig while I'm up there in Kalamazoo because I mean, yeah, the GI Bill does pay for um, my school, and it does give me a living allowance, but um, the living allowance only, only goes so far, and it only accounts for months that I'm in school, so during the summer months, I have to find a full-time job, so that way I can still continue to uh, pay on my expenses and stuff, otherwise, you know, my savings account's gonna take a pretty big hit, so um, I got a, a decent amount saved up now, but um, it's still a still a finite amount, so it's not by any means endless. I just have to keep that in mind and try to make it more of an emergency fund rather than, well, I don't have enough of this month, so I'll just kind of, you know, bring it in from the savings account, that sort of thing. And in addition to finding a part-time job, I'm also looking into other ways of uh, just making income from uh, YouTube as well. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I just haven't really found like a, uh, a decent means to make it happen as far as making money off of YouTube and stuff. And I still want to, you know, make these kinds of videos, these vlog style videos, just to let you guys know like how I'm doing and to show off different, you know, parts of uh, Kalamazoo or Michigan or just whatever. But I also want to make uh, different types of videos, you know, ones that'll hopefully uh, bring in a new audience and, you know, bring in more people so that way I can feel creative again, I guess, and also to make a little bit of money, you know. I'm not, I'm not gonna friggin' lie about it, you know, it's just, but I'm not doing it just for the money. I just want to put that out there. Um, this is just to um, help supplement my income and to also uh, get a new audience, do something a bit different and stuff like that, you know? It's just been rough for me lately as far as trying to figure out um, what I want to do with, you know, my main channel, what I want to do with making videos and stuff like that. It's just been rough trying to figure out who I am now that I'm no longer in the Navy, no longer in Japan. So, I mean, those are my two most marketable hooks, really, you know, get myself out there in videos and stuff. I'm um, just gonna, try a bunch of different things and you know just kind of see what sticks I'm also gonna be uh, building up my Andy K channel and I'm gonna be working a lot on that once I get all moved out to Kalamazoo 
uh, get my schedule set up so that way I can try to have a an actual set schedule with my Let's Plays versus just like, eh, whenever, you know, because that's one of the things about Let's Plays. It's very, uh, it's a very disciplined style of video. Like a lot of people just think, you know, oh, just, you know, put a microphone in front of you, play a game and like talk and make a bunch of noises for like 10 minutes on end and bam, video, you get like a billion views, You're like the next PBDD or PewDiePie, whatever. <laughs> The next Markiplier! But it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult than people think to do something like that, you know? Um, I've tried doing it before, and uh, it's just, I don't know, like, especially doing it by myself. Like, I'd prefer if there was, you know, another person in the room with me doing it, with me, but uh, it is what it is, so. I might have guests on the show, it's a little too early for me to say. But uh, that's what I, I do want to shoot for, is to grow my Andy K channel and to hopefully, you know, set up an AdSense account with it, set up all these uh, different things so that way I can get, you know, another source of income to help me cover the bills and stuff like that. Because, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm a working class dude, so I still got to pay the bills, keep the lights on and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not looking to uh, buy a mansion or buy a Ferrari or any of that other far-flung stuff. You know, oh my God, he's just doing it for the money. You know, I'm realistic about it. I'm not gonna come out here and tell you that, you know, I wanna work YouTube full-time and then, you know, not work other jobs until it takes off. I mean, that's just kind of stupid, right? You know, you gotta build up an audience. You got to uh, build, build up the views. And then, you know, once you start doing things consistently and you know you build your audience and stuff like that you know then you know I can eventually move to full-time YouTube but I'm not just gonna start off that way because I'm being realistic about these things so I mean yes my goal is to do YouTube full-time I'm not gonna lie one of the main obstacles with doing YouTube full-time is well time really and that's one of the misconceptions of you know oh, he just wants to do it for the money is that um his time is actually more a more important currency to me than the money because you know you can make an infinite amount of money but you only get so much time you know no matter who you are you know beyonce gets 24 hours in a day the same as you so we'll just put it that way it's just a matter of what you do with that time that, you know, you can make more money than other people. So, you know, with, with YouTube, you know, as long as I'm consistently putting out good content and stuff, it's going to continue to generate views and stuff like that, whether I'm on the clock or not. And that's one of the, uh, the beauties of doing stuff online is that it's continuous. There is no, well, it's only on for like eight hours at a time and then at the end of that eight hours, you know, we take it down and you gotta wait another 16 hours and then, you know, you put it back up again. It's like, it's not like that. It's continuous. And uh, I do want to make a career out of it, whether it's me making videos or me doing uh, behind the scenes work, you know, doing editing and things like that. Cause you know, like I said, I've been doing this for almost 10 years now and I really do enjoy it. If I was doing it just for the money, I would have quit like a long ass time ago. I gotta keep, <laughs> I gotta keep driving that point home because I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments who's gonna be like, oh, Andy says he's doing it for the money. He doesn't care about stuff. Ah. So I just gotta, just gotta drive that point home, you know? Cause like I said, if, if I was in it for the, uh, the money, I would have quit a long time ago, especially after AdSense banned my account, which, uh, Hopefully we'll be changing soon, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, that's basically what's been going on. Just been doing a lot of thinking as far as what I want to do with my channel, channels rather, and just kind of planning for the future. Uh, I am getting excited about it, you know, starting college again and redoing a new channel again and stuff like that. Here's the thing though. You know, while I'm in college, my main focus has to be college. You know, I still want to do YouTube and all that kind of stuff, but honestly, you know, this is it for me as far as college goes. You know, this is, you know, this is my last chance at getting my high, higher education. So that does have to come as a priority for me. You know, I'm going to try to do YouTube as much as I can 
it's just you know I gotta you know let you guys know that hey you know I'm, I'm taking my education very seriously here and I can't I may not be able to make um, videos on this channel as consistently as I used to or as much as I used to so you know I don't want you guys to think oh Andy Sons just killing his channel you know I do love this channel I love talking with you guys you know I am gonna be focusing first and foremost on my education and then after that it'll be you know supplemental income and stuff like that because you know long term I think you know this will be good for me and even if nothing comes of my degree even if I don't end up using it at all it just it's a goal that I've wanted to do for a long time was to graduate from college because that's been really holding me back you know because all my friends have graduated college some of them have even graduated from graduate school and here I am with no degree to show for I mean I feel really behind the power curve here and I want to you know do something and make something of myself you know and I realize that you know a college degree doesn't necessarily mean that you've made it but you know it's just been something that's been kind of bothering me lately that I haven't had like I said even if nothing comes of it and you know I don't get a job from that degree or if I don't even work in that field it's just something to say that hey I did this I stuck it out for four years and you know I fucking did it you know I just want to make that my priority and then all the other stuff will come second to that, you know. It just simply is what it is. So don't worry, I'm not going to leave YouTube. It's just, you know, I'm going to be posting a little bit less. And then with my Let's Play stuff, I'm going to try to get a schedule out so that way, you know, it's much more um, consistent, I guess. You know, maybe do like a recording session and then just kind of break it up. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. As far as uh, releasing stuff, maybe do like one video a day. I think that's that's the goal with uh, my Indicate channel is to get it set up to where I release like one video a day, one game a day, you know, that sort of thing. And then depending on how well the channel takes off and if it takes off to a point where I can get rid of my part-time job, then I'll start making more videos, you know, maybe do like two videos a day or something like that but you know this is you know future planning and stuff like that so this is the Andy song sign it for now like I said thinking you guys book for tuning into this extremely rambly incoherent blog and just kind of hear me you know rant and rave about stuff and my poofy hair <laughs> which will be cut soon I promise but um, yeah I just want to thank you guys for uh, sticking with me on my channel during these times because you know I know how fickle the internet can be you know if you're not you know the guy for something if you're not the Japan guy or the Navy guy or the whatever guy then people tend to lose interest so I, I just want to thank you guys especially for continuing to stick with me during these uh, these changing times and uh, I hope you guys continue to stick with me as you know we move this channel forward and we move other stuff forward as well so i also want to thank you guys for liking with thumbs comment subscribing send a few friends to the party and hey as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye